Members of the company, this is your places call. Places, please. Places for the top of the podcast. Places, please. Get ready for a behind-the-scenes look at the glitz and not-so-glam of Broadway, education, and everyday life with Uncommon Sense. Join hosts Christopher Smith and Sharna Lopez as they bring you the best stories and shenanigans that seemingly prove how elusive common sense can really be. So take a little time for yourself to hang out with the dynamic duo Sharnifer. And no leaving early, because you might just miss that 11 o'clock number. Stand by music. Music. Go. Uncommon sense The eleven o'clock And we are Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I just did the legit TV countdown. I was like, five, four. It was great. Three, two, and then point, because you don't say one. And then you also like fixed your hair and your glasses yeah, like, was like, right before we started, right. which was really, really great. That was what I was laughing at, not at your countdown. Um, hey, well. I teach my broadcast journalism kids. Three, two, one is in silence, Christopher. Is it three, two, five, as well? Four. <gasps> I thought it was just one. And I teach to my students that. And they're always like, why, Mrs. Lopez? I'm like, because one of you yahoos are going to be like, three, two, one. And you're not going to be able to edit your yeah. thing together. Or when you have a live feed, you know, you come up and you're like, Talking about whatever that's not appropriate for right. your podcast. <laughs> you're, you're like, I love that hot dog I had for breakfast. That was delicious. <laughs> Who wants to talk about? It's hot like dogs when for I breakfast? randomly hear kids' conversations in the hallway, and I'm like, I don't think I was supposed to hear that. I'm just gonna keep on walking. <laughs> just keep going. Carry on. Oh, uh, Christopher, I'm excited about our episode today, and I know. We are kind of in a, a crazy season right now with our jobs. So I, I, I shared with you this morning that I'm a little tired, but I, when I, uh, when I remembered what our topic was, I got excited. Well, good. It, it brought me life. <laughs> it brought you are alive. You are here. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> <I'm alive>. Sharn is <laughs> alive. She's like Frankenstein's monster. She's alive. I came to life. Love do you it. want to tell them what we're talking about? Sure. Or me? I'll do it. I'll do it. We're talking about. Oh, okay. Movies that have been turned into stage musicals. Da -dun -dun da -da 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 -da. And we'll have Thank to see. You. I found on um, Collider.com, according to them, the 15 best movies later made into stage musicals ranked. So we'll see if we agree. I'm excited to go through that list. I think too. And we'll see if there's wanted, any missing um... that we really are like, how dare they miss this one? Right? Oh, I, yeah. I haven't even seen the list, y'all. So know. Christopher's going to share it with me. Um, I also want to discuss, probably not in this episode, but maybe in a additional episode, um, musicals turned into movies, like the mm, reverse. The other way around. Right? Great. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be fun. That could be a, a part two. Part two. Of this episode. This one's from uh, screen to stage. Next one will be stage to screen. Here we go. I'm trying to think in my brain what the number one screen to stage musical is. Are they, can you give me a clue if they're um, like the, the time period? Are they all mostly uh, within the last 20 to 30 years? The or are, they, one is. are there some that are older? The earliest one so far is 1991. Oh, there's a 1950. 1967. Oh. All right. Okay, so here we go. I think, I think, should I take a guess? You want to take a guess? We're going to go backwards, like 15 okay. to one. Okay. Then I'm not, I just, what do I'm going to hold in my brain the one hold, that I. Great. I don't think you're going <laughs> to, I don't think you're going to guess it looking at from this list. Okay. I'm not sure I agree. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, go. Number 15. It's your Drum favorite musical, brrr. Sharno Lopez. Waitress. Waitress. <laughs> okay. Can we just, let's get something out in the open here. Let's get, 
let's get something out in the open here, okay? Clear the air. I, my students laugh at me and they always think I'm crazy when I say that I don't like Waitress the Musical. I mm -hmm. should amend that okay. statement. I have never seen Waitress the Musical, okay? Right. I've never seen it. Neither so have I, I can't actually. say that I don't like it. I can't say that I don't like it because I've never seen it. That is not fair. I think the way in which Waitress was introduced to me through 12 year olds attempting to sing Sarah Bareilles songs yes. made me dislike Waitress. Yes. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And I am on and, the page with you. Oof. We, I, I can't remember what show it was or what year it was, Christopher, but we sat through an audition process where every other preteen teenage child was singing something from Waitress. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking at you and being like, if someone else comes in here with a song from Waitress, I'm going to punch him in the face. That's right. Like, I, I was like, you were done. And look, another one. And, and you know, I actually want to have um, this person on the show. And I thought about it this morning. I would love to have the most uh, talented and amazing Brooklyn Viscara on our show. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to reach out to her. But she was one of the kids totally that did a song from – she totally would. And she's so interesting and – um lovely i think she'd she'd be a really great interview so brooklyn if you're listening uh heads up girl i'm gonna text you um she did for lip sync battle at school she did a number from waitress now she didn't sing it mm -hmm. so i remember seeing her and being like okay she kind of gets she's getting mm -hmm. the humor in it she's getting that part of it and she wasn't attempting to sing it it's when she used to be mine when you're 12 and you're singing i, I love that song I love that song. So I don't want people to think I hate all of Waitress. I don't. And actually really love that song. If I could listen to uh, a Miss Katy Perry Page sing that song to me, done. done. If I could listen to, you know, a Jessica Vosk or an Eden Espinosa sing that song to me, that is fine. But when my 13-year-old eighth grader is like, I'm, uh, hello, I am Sally <laughs> and I will be singing She Used to Be Mine from The Waitress. I'm like, good luck on your journey, Sally. Good luck yeah. on that journey. I also love sing it, sing it at your, sing it at home, sing it for your family, sing it in the shower. That's right. I just sing it in the car. Man, I just went on a tangent about waitress, but I just want people to know I had a very good friend in the original cast of the waitress and I, I all of his video snippets and pictures and the things he posted, it looks, it looks very funny and very, yeah. um, heartfelt. And I don't want to knock it because I have not seen it, yeah. but that is why I feel the way I feel about the waitress. But I also, as we've talked about, don't love the way it is transcribed. It hurts my brain. It is not transcribed yes. in proper time signatures for things. I don't like it. Yes. And but. actually, that was a funny story. You just We just talked about that the other day. When yes. you're like, what are, what are we in now? We're in 3-4. Now we're in 1907. Now we're in 4 plus 9. You're like, I can't handle it. I can't handle and it. And the key of Q. That's my favorite line. Yes. The that, key of I'm, Q. I stole Okay, that so from Waitress you. is 15. Yes. Uh, you know what? It doesn't surprise me it's on the list, though. It doesn't surprise me. It's it's very popular. Have you seen the movie? We should talk about if you've seen the movies as well. I, I have seen the movie. I saw it once, and that was enough. Thank you, mm -hmm. Waitress. Okay. Yeah. All right, number 14, <laughs> coming in hot. Dirty, rotten scoundrels. Okay. Have you seen the movie I've or the musical? I've seen neither. I'm going to be embarrassed okay, going so down I've... this list, I have a feeling. That's okay. That's all right. Everyone is welcome here. There's no judgment. Um, I have a great story. So I have okay. never seen the movie. My very first trip to New York City was to drop Kelly, who was on our show earlier this year, uh, drop her off at NYU. My mom mm -hmm. was like, I can't go. If I take her, she's the youngest. I'm going to live in the dorm with her. I will never leave. You need mm -hmm. to take your sister to college. So I took her. And, you know, we're young. I'm... 20, 22, we mm -hmm. have no money. We're like, but I'm like, I am in New York city. I've got to see a Broadway show. Absolutely. We were able to snag tickets for dirty rotten scoundrels. And ah. I remember being like, what is this show? Like what? <laughs> cool. Okay. Right. We ended up missing a train and running full sprint through mm -hmm. times square to get into this theater, to see this show. And I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Now, I don't know if it's because it was my first Broadway show, but I saw the original cast. Um, Norbert Leo Butts was just amazing. I liked it because it took me back to a little bit of classic musical theater, mm -hmm. right? Like even though it was movie turned musical, the writing of the music, um, the way it was staged, I thought it was really well done. 
Um, and the, the original cast of that was just so amazing. And I always wanted to sing Here I Am, that song. We mm. did that song. Mm -hmm. One year in Broadway Bound, Christopher. Yes, you did. Um, I always was like, oh, I, I, I could just belt that out in my car. I love. I really, I truly did like that show, and it's not done very often. Mm -mm. Um, I've never seen the the movie, but it's very funny. It's very funny. Apparently, it was, the movie was remade in 2019 with Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson. Also, another fun fact. It what? was yeah. That's true. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Neither did I. We learn things today. We're all learning together. Mm -hmm. um, so the musical premiered in 2004 and scored 10 Tony nominations, but oh. only won one. And it was actually who you just talked about, Norbert Leo Butts, for Norbert leading Butts. actor in a yeah. musical. He was great. He was great. And it was one of the first times he does a rap. Mm. In that, uh, I can't remember the name of the song, but he does a rap. And I remember being like, what's happening? Like, he he was very, very great. And I obviously know him. We all know him from he's the original Fiero and Wicked. Mm -hmm. um, and also but, last five years. That's actually how I yes tracked him. First. Yes, he. I just he's he's a cool. I don't know him as a person, but like he's just cool. And then I ended up watching him in a TV show, and I was like, he's such a good actor. And I don't know. I really he uh, along with oh my gosh, I can't think of the lead girl's name. I'll look it up in a second. She's the other girl from last five years. Oh, um, what's her name? Shooty. I don't know. We'll look it up. But they As were I great. You, and the worst then John Lithgow. Names. I mean, John Lithgow was the other. There's the three of them. They're the three um, in the show. They're, they were they were fabulous. It was very it was very good. I like that. That's on there. Yeah. Number 14. All right. What's number 12 or um, 13? I want to, you know, squirrel us for a minute again, because you talked about taking Kelly to college. And I remember something yeah. you told me about who her roommate was or oh yeah everybody are you ready are you ready we are two General, degrees please. of who is it sharna lopez uh lady gaga lady right. gaga was kelly's first original college roommate now at the time she was not lady gaga of course she was um, just a little old it's stephanie. like a fun it's a fun party story just stephanie and you know what's interesting I, we should ask kelly while she was on here but kelly uh just said that she was nothing but an awesome human. I love Kind of just kept to herself. Yeah. Um, and would get come to class and just like blow everybody away with her talent, which are we surprised because now look at her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just a just an average average human dorming it up in, in New York yeah. City. We should have had her come That's on crazy. with Kelly. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know. You, you never, never know. know. All right, number thirteen. Okay. Nasa Pena. I can never say oh, the yeah. words. I had to learn it when we did it that one year in my 10th grade vocal class. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm i surprised that's not higher up yeah. on the list, if I'm being I'm honest. I'm not loving their ranking on here, actually. But whatever. So Interesting. So, yeah. But I have anyway, not Lion seen King. Lion King on stage. Ah, see, have you seen Lion have King seen. on stage? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've seen the movie, I don't know, 485 times, right. and I cry every single time. I love time. the movie. Every time, um, spoiler alert, ugh, right. Mufasa dies. But um, every time, I'm like, uh. Yeah. Oh, and it's not when he dies. It's when Simba comes down. Yes. And he's After like he's looking at dead. him, and he's like, dad. Nope. Nope. Um, I'm surprised that's not ranked higher. Again, I haven't seen the musical, but every single person that has yeah. seen it just raves raves about the beauty of it the execution well, yeah. of the puppetry and the animals and the costumes and exactly um i'd really like to take my kids to see that the next time didn't it just come through here though mm, i think it's been a minute okay i'd love to say even sebastian would probably really enjoy that is it still in? no i was like is it still in vegas all right number 12 and you can't i mean menken's music is like yeah timeless to me i i love his music so. you're right can't go wrong All right, with that. This next musical we also just talked about the other day, Sharna. And not for great okay. reasons. Uh oh. Mean Girls. Don't spit out your coffee. Don't do it. Mean Girls ranked higher than Lion King? Yeah, unless this unless this I'm gonna quit the show. Like I quit the show. <laughs> no, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Waitress cannot be number one. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe it is. I mean, maybe maybe it, is. it is. Dang. See, I haven't even uh, seen it. Okay. But it, it was also nominated for 12 Tonys. It didn't win any, but it was- Mean Girls? Yeah. Do you think, okay, 
again, I haven't seen it. Haven't seen the musical, so maybe maybe we're like we're we're judging things without seeing. However, I have had several people recently see the musical that were like, "Whoa, should have left an intermission." Like they were very underwhelmed by the entire thing. Boo. So, I yeah, I think to me, I think Mean Girls falls into this category of why that movie. Yeah, that's that's where my brain goes. Why that movie? What is it about that movie that you could like had to make a musical? There's mm-hmm. so many other movies like Pete's Dragon. That's my dream. I have a bucket list to write a musical for Pete's Dragon, especially now with like well, Turner, all of this fun puppetry book, and all the I will write the music. digital stuff. If you Come write on, guys, the book, you heard it I here first. I'm going to, I'm going to enlist my friend Parker to help me write it. I, I seriously, I wanted that, but, but mean girls. And I think that's where I get a little bit caught up in it. Like why mean girls? Mm -hmm. Also everything I've seen of it, just, it doesn't do it for me. I don't know. I don't, I, I think generationally the kid, I watched that movie. I think the younger kids think it's cool and hip and they're like, Oh, to me, it's just like, well, also like, again, haven't seen it, but, um, just what we were talking about it the other day like why are we trying to glorify that like that meanness yeah. and being mean to people yeah and i guess i'm yeah i Choose honestly something else. don't i don't remember the movie that well but i'm you know i'm sure it has a happy ending so maybe everyone gets their comeuppance but um right so maybe there. i have no desire to see it <laughs> all right mean girls you're gone bye next all right number 11 shrek okay yeah how do you feel about Shrek, Christopher? I like Shrek. I saw it a long time ago. Um, it's, um, I was never a huge fan of the movie. I liked it. Um, but I was like, well, I'll go see the musical. Why not? So I thought that the um, costumes were great. I thought the makeup was great. Um, I thought, Lord, I can never say his name. Farquad? Farquad. Yes, I went. Yeah. Um, was cool the way they did that and everything and had some fun moments. And I think for once, cause one of my bigger issues when they make movies, especially movies with music into films, and we'll get to this if it's on the list is um, when they put extra stuff in cause they think they need it. And then mm-hmm. I'm like, it's just extra for no reason. It doesn't add it's like It's too much. Yeah. 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 Oh, like so, it doesn't add. It doesn't yeah, add it doesn't anything. add anything. Yeah. It's like you could have just done the movie version on stage and it would have worked. Now right. I know that there's certain things that that's not true because it's a completely different medium. But yeah, I think with Shrek. So I love Shrek. Um, I loved the movies. I have a 21 year old uh, stepdaughter. So those movies like as parents were awesome because mm-hmm. the kids thought it was funny, but the adults also could find the uh, not adult humor, but the little more mature humor or the references. And so mm-hmm. Jerry and I used to love watching those when the kids were younger. Um, my kids love, love those movies. I love that they made a, uh, was it on Disney? No. Cause it was on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. So my kids watched it a bunch when it came out and I loved that too. So we could see it. I've mm-hmm. seen it done several times. I saw it professionally. I've seen youth theaters do it. I've seen it a lot. I really like Shrek. I, there are a couple songs in that show that I think are, I would sing and have my students sing over and over and over again. I love having a trio of girls sing. I know it's today. I love that song. Um, I love freak flag. We just did freak flag in our show this past weekend. I think it's so great. I think the message in that show is so great. I think the humor and the comedy in that show is so great. I think my one tricky part with that show is if you are not Shrek, Fiona or donkey mom and I go the other way around. If your Shrek, Fiona and donkey are not stellar, that show can go South real quickly because yeah. those three characters are like 93% of the show. Farquaad has a bunch. And then, you know, obviously the fairy tale creatures are in a, a bit, but the rest of that show is mostly those three characters. Mm-hmm. So I think you just have to have really great leading performers. Um, I like it. And I, I agree. Um, it's, it's the costuming was like 
and the makeup was really did it win for that? It must have, right? It must it have. Didn't I didn't win look it up. anything. I don't think. It, well, it doesn't talk about having any really? nominations. I didn't look. And I, I mean, I, I loved the original cast in that too. I think, I think they're really great. So yeah, I, I like, I like where that's ranked. I think that's a yeah. good one to put on there. You're also gonna like the next one. Are you ready? Yay! It's yes. Legally Blonde. Mm, mm. Okay, hands down, I think one of the best, more modern movies made into musical. I've done that show three times now, not been in it. I've never been in it, performed it, but I've directed it and choreographed it. And I think that it is so very well done, the transition they made. Now, I will tell you, from a director and a producer standpoint, it's a nightmare mm -hmm. with just scenic and yeah. all the all the stuff but if you can get that box checked that show is very fun it's fun <laughs> to watch it's funny that show is funny um it's the i fa really to the i knee. really like that show and i think they did a great job cool cool what'd you say i said fa to the knee yeah and the music is good you know they they wrote some great songs yeah. in that show and i like that it's um yeah it's well received usually too i loved the movie too it was it made me a big reese yeah. witherspoon fan well, she's like kind of one of my like top celebrities. I think she's yeah. a super cool human being. I don't know if you used to like follow her or see what she's doing now. She just, just seems like the real deal. Now, social media, you know, is right. social media. But yeah, she's she's cool. She's done some really great things for herself and for a million other people too. Mm -hmm. And she's done such a wide variety of things as well. Mm -hmm. um, my other side tangent, I think my other top like celebrity person that I haven't heard about too much recently, but is Sandra Bullock. She's like <gasps> my jam. I, if I could meet her. Yes. You know, what's funny. I think she'd might maybe rank higher than Reese Witherspoon in terms of meeting her. Mm -hmm. Sandra Bullock. Have you seen the blind side? Yeah. I've seen everything. I could she's watch done, that I movie. I, I, I am. I'm so glad you brought that up. She is an amazing actress and i know for a while it was like this kind of rom-com or yeah. way or these little funny things like miss congeniality and all that kind Which of stuff I also but love her that in the blind side actually see do that instead of mean girls yeah what the heck um but her in the blind side it's a family favorite here at our house because it's sports mm -hmm. and it's got kids in it um i love I just got chills. I love the message in that movie. And it's based off a true story. Mm -hmm. So it's not a message that they fabricated, but oh my gosh, I love it. And she is such a great character in that movie. And she just embodied that woman so well. Oh, I, I could watch that movie a thousand times. I love it. <laughs> I, like I, her. I think I'm trying to remember the first movie I saw with her. And I might have been while you were sleeping. It's a cute. Ooh, I don't know that one. Yeah. It's hey, a... on a side note, I'm going to make a list right now of the movies we think should be made into musicals that we're Great. talking about. So we said Miss Congeniality mm -hmm. and Peach Dragon. Yes. Right. Um, all right. Okay. Number number nine, The Band's Visit. Ooh, I don't know anything Me about neither. that. I don't even really know the music. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> but it, uh, you know it's funny see. it got some pretty decent reviews i mean mm -hmm. i had people that went to go see it there were some people that thought it was very uh beautifully done so that's interesting it Maybe won 10 to tonys to so holy smokes yeah it won 10 mm -hmm. but if i remember that year it was 2017 i think yeah 2017 i think that was a year where it didn't have a lot of competition got it wow but i'm gonna still, have to go listen to it but i've okay. also heard it's really great Okay. So I'm What's not like premise? knocking it. All right. Okay. So this one is on the list. I was wondering. So it'll allow me to talk about what I was complaining about earlier. Number eight, Beauty and uh -oh. the Beast. Tale as old as time. That's right. All right. Thoughts. I'll let you, I'll the let you start on this and, one. And, you know, our friend Susan Egan played the original Belle. So that was fun. That's always been a yes. fun fact Ugh, for me. With her beautiful voice. I know. She's ridiculous. Um... So my issue is there's just, they put in like what? I feel like they put in 25 extra ballads in that, sh in that show. And yes. I'm like, I just fell asleep five times. Like they're, they're nice yeah. songs, but again, a lot of what they added no. didn't add. 
I disagree. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I agree. You agree that, but you're like, <laughs> I, agree. I got you. Correction. I know what you mean. <laughs> Correction. And I think it needed some yeah. additions, yeah. but they did too many. Yeah. I, I 100% agree with that. And I think on the Disney topic for a second, mm -hmm. I think Disney, I wonder, it would be interesting to research this. Which one of their movies was the first musical? Was it Beauty and the Beast? Because it wasn't Lion King. I think Beauty and the Beast was, came before Lion King. I think it did. It wasn't Aladdin. That was later. Yeah, that was way later. What? Yeah, I don't think it. Obviously. I think it was. Um, I think it Beast. was their first. And so smart. Disney, you are a smart franchise organization. I think whoever was like, hey, let's maybe. what? I mean, we could turn this into a stage. But I think. Oh, no. Cinderella, maybe. Maybe Cinderella. Mm. Was before Beauty and the Beast. I don't but, know. We could look, but I'm just saying. I think Disney, they hold on. Did Disney do Cinderella? Disney didn't do Cinderella. Oh, you're just saying. You're just saying a first Disney movie to be made into. Yeah, well, because Rodgers and Hammerstein did yes. Cinderella, but it was from the Disney movie. I guess. Yeah. Right? I guess. I guess that's true. Well, I guess Cinderella is a fairy tale, so Disney yeah. doesn't have. I don't know. That's a whole different topic. I don't know, but I'm just saying. I think. Disney movies, because they've always been musical movies, mm -hmm. those, they're cartoons from, from Little Mermaid to Frozen to whatever it, you know, yeah. it's, it's so easy of a transition. And I think all the, I love all of them. I don't dislike any Disney musical. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will agree with that kind of, we've got to add stuff. We've got to add stuff because there's not enough. And then I think sometimes it's over, it's right. overkill. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, but I'm glad that's on there. The Tony situation on that was it was nominated for nine Tony Awards, but it only won okay. one. Want to guess what it was for? What costumes? Yep. You can't have be yeah. our guest and not win the Tony. <laughs> right. No. Right. Sometimes I think of that and I'm like, especially when there's two shows that are so close in like, the amazingness of what mm -hmm. they're doing. And I'm like, oh, that sucks for the one show that's not going to win because they're both so, so good. Let's all talk about that. 2003 when. Oh, what was that? That was the year that Wicked and Avenue Q came out. Oh, and yeah. Avenue Q yeah. beat Wicked for best musical. Which that hurts my heart because yeah. you know how I feel about Wicked. Mm -hmm. I love Wicked. But it also um, makes me laugh because. Um, when they did Book of Mormon, that's crazy. When they wrote mm -hmm. Book of Mormon, that "You and Me, but mostly Me" song, um, was there's a couple moments where it's kind of like a hee hee, we beat you, Wicked moment because there was some like nods yeah. to making fun yep. of Wicked. But, yep. So yep. I love little things like that. <laughs> oh man! All okay. right, what's next on our Number list? Number seven. Haven't seen it. I think you have seen it. No, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. Catch me if you can. Yes. Okay. I have a lot to say on this. Great. One. I'm so, ready. Have you seen the movie? I have seen the movie. Okay. Do you like the movie? I like it. I don't love it. So Catch Me If You Can is a movie I think my husband and I have seen 12 times. Okay. Like, we like that movie. If that movie's on TV, if that movie comes up, if that, like, I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan and a Leonardo DiCaprio fan. Well, so there there's you go. like, Two and I one. love them both. I, again, very intrigued by the, it's based off true story. So mm -hmm. that kind of stuff really intrigues me. Um, I will say, because we loved the movie so much, when we saw the musical the first time, we were like, no, 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 no. Like the way it started, both of us were like, this is wrong. You know, like you, incorrect. because your brain is incorrect. so. Yeah. Incorrect. Incorrect. You, you're, you're expecting it to be one way. And it was just the way they had set, they said it's like a show within a show, the musical. Okay. And I didn't like that. I mm. didn't like that premise of it. Now, once you put that aside, I think the music in that show, I, there are some good songs in that show. Yeah. Um, I think it is a very male driven show, which makes it difficult to do with, um, youth theater because we know we always have more girls than boys. Right. Um, but you also have to have a, 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 a leading man to play Abernathy. No, not Abernathy to play the lead guy. Um, 
uh, that can uh, sing. Ab- in, Abagnale? In sing- Frank Abagnale. Abagnale. Yeah, thank you. Abernathy's from Guys and Dolls. Yeah. Um, Abagnale. Yeah. He, I mean, his, that, those songs he sings are like made for a robot voice. I don't know, man, that, that, those vocals are so difficult. Yeah. Um, but when done well, man, Ooh, and there's so much fun dancing in that show. I actually like that show. I think you'd like it, Christopher. I think I would. I think you'd I like, like it. I like the music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also Norm- Norbert Leo Butts was in that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he took a home. Took a home. He took home a Tony for best actor for his portrayal of Carl Hanratty. Yeah, he's the detective. And he, he performed, they performed his number at the Tonys. I remember it. And I'm like, what? This is so <laughs> cool. I really... And I really like him. Well, there you go. All right, number six, Billy Elliot. I haven't seen it. I haven't even seen the movie. I haven't seen it either. And I don't really have a desire to see it, which is weird with my dance background. I haven't even seen the movie. Yeah. Carry on. I don't know. Yeah, carry on. Um, Oh, I forgot that Elton John wrote it, though. So that might be fun. Yeah. Yeah. There's that one song in there that the kids, I've had a few kids sing. Yes. Uh, um, what's the... About wearing your lipstick and, and dressing up. What's it called? Oh, I like it. We should have done that in Broadway Bound. We did do a song from Our best Broadway of Broadway. Bound, I think. Oh, Best of Broadway. But what's that? I'll look that up. That's that's a good song. It's cute for kids. Yeah. All right. I like when kids can sing songs that kids sing. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. At Imagine least that. Meant, like Matilda. Yeah. Or Secret Garden. Yes. Um, <gasps> Come to my garden. All right. Number five. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen the movie and I have never seen the musical. And I actually really wanted to see the musical because I love the music. Ooh. Are you ready? Sunset yeah. Boulevard. Oh. I, okay. I've never seen either. But I remember. What year did it does it have the year it came out? Uh, n- n- it was n- London in ninety four and Broadway in ninety five. Yep. Yeah. So that was like eighth grade year yeah. for me, and I remember hearing it coming out when like all of us we'd be like putting our CDs in, yeah. like singing the songs. For all those people um, out I do there, like a the music. CD stands for compact disc <laughs> for all the students, <laughs> and it's round, it's like a little four or five inch a disc. Disc. Yeah. Oh man. Um. Yeah. I remember really liking the music and mm-hmm. then seeing some maybe still images because video back then wasn't really around, but of the set yeah. Yeah. and being like the set was very massive and beautiful, but I've never seen it either. That's it interesting. Did win, it did win the Tony for best musical. And, and this is also why I was so obsessed with it was um, best leading actress was, she also won was Glenn Close. And I love yeah. Glenn Close. Even back then I loved Glenn Me too. Close. Me so too. I was like, She's great. Eh, I want to see it. And I never saw it. Sad day. That was number four or number three? Uh, five. Number four oh, five. Okay. is the producers. I want to be <gasps> a producer. I can get behind uh, that. I can yeah. get behind that. Agreed. It's a fun show. I saw that when it came through um, the Pantages with Martin Short. I about oh, lost my mind. That I show bet. is funny. Yes. That show is funny. Yeah. And I'm not, um, the funny thing is I'm not a, a huge Mel Brooks fan. But yeah, me I, I like the show. But that one, yeah, it's got great music. Um, it's funny. It's fast. Uh, I, I really enjoyed. I remember really enjoying that and thinking it was just so hilarious. And it's got those big numbers and it's got that very old school Broadway feel to it. Yeah, yeah. I like that and one. I love that, that was that's a good one. one. I love that that's one of those that was a movie that got turned into a musical that got turned into a movie musical. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The three levels. Okay, so I half knew this was a musical, number three. Um, Once I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, I've heard of it, but I don't know anything from it. And it's number three, and you... Yeah. What? It's And it also didn't fare well on Broadway. It opened in 2016 in London and 2017 on Broadway. Ran for only five months. And since I'm just giving you clues, let me just give you another clue and see if you can figure it out. It was based on a Bill okay. Murray movie from the early nineties. Oh yeah. Groundhog's day. There you go. I don't know the show at so all. So you want to know something really funny? Yeah. Here's the number one random thing. My sister living in Manhattan, seeing a million shows. She saw that show and immediately called me and was like, you would not believe how good the show is. She 
loved that show. Yeah. And I was like, Groundhog's Day? I remember being like, what the? She's like, Sharna, it's so good. It was really well done. She really liked it. Great. So I don't know why it didn't do well. I think for me, it's kind of that like, why are you doing Groundhog's Day? I don't know. But apparently, according to my sister, they did it really a right. really good job, but I don't know if maybe they just didn't gather the masses of people that they thought it would. Right. Cause there's that one song in there that our students sing a lot. Someday, one day, someday. Okay. Do you know it? I don't, I probably one do. Day, I, it's a good, um, female kind of mezzo y belty song. It's, it's good. Right. That's really interesting. And maybe you I'll go listen. You to didn't know soundtrack. it was a movie or you didn't know it was a musical. I didn't know it was a musical or I didn't realize. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the only song that I know from it. All right. All right. Number two. Uh, this is the movie title. And then you have to tell me the musical title. Um, hold on one second. Time. When was this list published? 2022. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Number two. The movie is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Spam a lot. Ding, 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 ding. You win okay. a prize. Seen the movie. Seen the movie once. I'm not a huge Monty Python fan, but I've seen the movie Same. once. I've not seen the musical. Yeah. No. Same. All but of that. I had um, one of my, my girlfriends was in the, I think, first national tour of it. She loved it. And then she choreographed another tour of it. Um, I've heard some of the music. It's not done often. No. I know some of it as well, but it's not done so, often. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm All really right. curious as to what the number, number one, one is. Number one, it's not. Because there's a couple on here that are missing that I'm like, well. All right. Okay. Here comes number one. I don't uh -oh. know how I feel about this. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. It's Rocky. I quit the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. Who ranked these? Collider.com. Nobody asked them. Where'd but... you find this? <laughs> Look, we've had we have a couple friends who were in Rocky, so maybe we could ask them yeah. about how Rocky was. The one thing I know from Rocky is that that um, boxing ring like moved out over the audience, and it was supposed and to be that's super cool. cool. I can. There's one song from Rocky. Do you remember one of our students it's like sang it? Raining, it's about the rain. rain. I love raining, it. It's pretty. Yeah. Yep, I love it too. So maybe hey, I can't. I've seen every Rocky movie multiple times. My son is obsessed with rocky i mean he could probably quote that oh, he, lo he loves the rock and even ruby so we this is like a recent thing the other day we we're in target and you know normally she's like can i buy slime can i buy this can i get that she comes up she's got a time magazine that's the um anniversary of rocky mom can i have this i was like yes <laughs> She read the whole magazine with Rocky Time magazine. She's got That's it saved in her bedroom. Hilarious. Yeah. And I think I it's that. because Jerry, my husband, grew up watching those. And they're, they're very inspirational. Um, but I don't know anything about the musical other than my friends, Lauren yeah. Lynn Jackson and Eric Anderson. I think were in just it. judging by what they said about it on here, I think, it, I think they just put it on because they love the movie so much. Okay. But Wait, was Lauren in Rocky like... or just Pretty Woman? Maybe she wasn't in Rocky. I think it's just Eric that was in Rocky. I know Lauren was in Pretty Woman. I Moulin Rouge is not on there? Nope. That that's was one that I, came to my mind as like... well. And also Moulin Adam's Rouge was one that I was on like, here. whoa. Adam's Family? Dude, I would have ranked Adam's Family way high. Yeah. I would have put Moulin Rouge on there. Um. I, wow. I would have even put Rock of Ages on there. Mm. I would have even put School of Rock on there. Oh, that's true. That's true. Before some of these other ones. I but I I mean, some of them I haven't seen. I mean, so there's I don't, so I don't many. I I didn't want to like list all 9,000 of them. Um, right. Okay. Which so is why I went to this list. But like, let me look. I'm going to look something up real quickly. Okay. You look up something else. Because I don't know. Like, I want to make sure that I hairspray say Hairspray should have been on there. Definitely Little oh. Shop should have been on there. I'm sorry. Uh, can we recreate a list? Yes. We're going to create our own list. But actually, we'd fail because we just rank all of them like one or 50. <laughs> we don't have a lot of in-betweens. Right? Um, okay. So here's the one that I was thinking of. Okay. Singing in the Rain. 
So what's tell me about that? I thought of that too. So what's the deal with it? So I, I'm trying to think if it was, I believe it was a movie first and then became a musical. Okay. We have I to believe. solve this because we've now referenced this like two or three times. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, okay. So 1952 was the film. The film was in 1952 with Gene Kelly. Okay. We know this. So where a uh, musical, the film, a supporting actress, greatest film ever made. And then. Uh, so it was done in 1983 on the West end. So definitely okay. after. However, I don't know. The movie is just so iconic. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like sound of music. Yeah. If I had to choose the movie or the musical, both of those, I would choose the movie. Mm -hmm. Right. Like yeah. I, I, I mean the movie singing in the rain is like the best. Now the musical is great too. So, but I don't know now, like thinking about it, the tran the transformation from screen to stage, if I had to pick, I think those, those actually stand stronger as movies. Yeah, um, I agree. But Little Shop? Oh, my yeah. gosh. My Fair Lady. Little Shop, Moulin Rouge. See, but My Fair Lady, I think, stands as a movie better, too. Mm-hmm. Little Cabaret. Shop, Moulin Rouge. What was the other one? Cabaret was a oh, movie first? God. Wait. Yeah, with Liza Minnelli. But that was first? I think so. Interesting. Good look it up. Um... Well, it's on the list of here, so unless they're an idiot, which they could be. Um, Annie, Man, and and um, well, I we know how I, I feel about that movie. Annie. I don't know. I can't yeah. stand it. But Adam's Family. Yep. Yeah. <gasps> Little Nine shop, to five. Adam's Family. Nine to five. I love that. Nine to five would knock off a couple of those. Oh, absolutely. Nine to five. Um, yeah. Oh, big fish. Sorry, everybody, you're discovering you know okay. with us as we go through this list. That's that's what we're here for, right? <laughs> Maybe hopefully people are like, oh, what about this? Say this one. So Big Fish, do you know that show pretty I well, don't. Christopher? I know about it, and I know some of I've the music. Seen it, I've seen it twice, and I cried like a baby yeah. both times I've because heard. obviously the premise of it yeah. is kind of very sad. Um, I really enjoyed it both times I saw it, and I remember liking the music, and I remember loving the way that it was written and how it all got connected, and... Um, it's not done that often. Mm -mm. It is not. Big fish. Uh, oh. Carrie. That's an interesting one because that was like. How do you feel about Carrie? Flop. Um, I actually like it because I think it's one Me of too. those. I don't think it's like the best musical ever, but I do like as a horror fan because I am kind of a horror fan. Um, mm -hmm. There's not a lot of movies that I was like, oh, there's a horror musical, like a, a musical based on a horror movie. That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. I actually thought it, um, I think it's fairly well written and I like a lot of the music. I like a lot of the music. I will say it's one of those shows where uh, there are a couple of times that I'm like, another ballad? Can we not sing another? Oh, fair. Fair. Uh, yeah. I just, I wish it was a little more condensed. I will say mm -hmm. it's a show that I think if you do it in the right space, I know uh, several years ago <clears throat> here by us in La Mirada, they did kind of an immersive one. I mm -hmm. think that's cool when it's like a yeah. horror theme and you're like kind of part of the side. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I surprisingly enjoyed that show. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wait, there's a clueless musical. There's a clueless musical. Uh, yeah, but it didn't do very well. I don't think yeah, it ever got I heard of <clears throat> out of workshop. Yeah, I don't think it ever um, got out of workshop. Color purple. Oh. That's mm. a, I have never seen that, but that one ran for a long time on Broadway. Yeah, I think so. Dogfight was a musical for I mean a movie first? Weird. Oh, I didn't I, know that. I like I didn't that musical. Know that either. Granted, I'm now on Wikipedia, so you know. Right. Who knows? Ah. Um Freaky All right, Friday. Well, I mean, thanks for Great Gardens. Yes. Actually, that one I like to see. <clears throat> High School Musical. I've never seen it. I'm just going to throw out a few more. Yeah. <gasps> oh, here. This one right here. Everybody's done. Newsies. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. How is that not on the list? That should have been in the list. You people. That should have been in the list. Yep. For sure. All right. 
that's not a good list, but it was fun to talk about them. <laughs> no, and I kind of like it because, I mean, like you said, I, we obviously have our opinions and our our perspectives and prejudice because of ones we've seen or done or are connected to. Yeah. Like, I can't speak to some of those because I haven't seen them. I wouldn't put them on my list because I haven't seen them, you know? Yeah. But also, I don't know, Rocky beats all things. I don't know about that. Little Shop? Rocky beats Little Shop? Mm. Question mark? That's going to be the title Question of this episode. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Rocky beats Little Shop? Hmm. Oh. We I beg to differ. We beg to differ. That. 100%. Oh, man. All, All right, right, everybody. That uh, was a fun oh, episode. That was so fun. It was so fun. It brought me energy. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yay. Everybody, <laughs> we're giving Sharna life today. Yes, oh, I'm alive. Okay. Go follow us on Instagram. Like and sub uh, subscribe on YouTube. I'm apparently tongue-tied. It's cool. And uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, go to uncommonpod.com. All the info is there. And on that yeah, note. Yeah, check it out. Sharnifer. Sharnifer. Out. out. Boom. Bye, friends. <laughs> Did Bye. it. Nailed it. Crushed it. Uh, Gonna take a nap. Fun musicals. <laughs> <laughs> go take a nap. I love that. This concludes another episode of Uncommon Sense. If you're ready for more of this fresh, hilarious, and unique perspective on the world of entertainment, education, and life, be sure to subscribe right now to catch every episode. If you gasped, laughed out loud, or even snorted, share the show with your friends and aspiring entertainers, because, let's be real, sharing is caring. For more Sharnifer, tune in to their witty insights by checking out the website uncommonpod.com or connecting on social media. Tune in next week and get the real insider scoop on another episode of Uncommon Sense. <laughs>